what is up everybody we are back at it with a another brand new video before i get started i just want to say thank you guys so much for 300 subscribers recently um every single one of you are the best i love interacting with every single one of you down in the comments that do leave a comment so make sure to leave one down below let me know what you think of this video as of the previous ones go check those ones out if you haven't either and make sure you leave a like and subscribe I'd greatly appreciate it, and let's get started, everybody. So, um, I kind of wanted to do a PS3 collection real quick, just because I was bored and I got in the mood. So, um, starting off over here, we have Borderlands Game of the Year Edition. Um, yes, most of these games did come from GameStop, and, um... I actually never beat this game. I've never beat any Borderlands game. This is the one I got the farthest on, but I would say it's probably easier with friends. So, next up, Call of Duty Black Ops. I actually didn't buy this game. Um, this is actually my cousin's copy from back in the day. Um, he gave it to me for Christmas, like, years back. Not sure why, but, um, yeah, I don't really collect greatest hits or anything, so, yeah. But, cool game if you guys know, you know, if you live those days. Next up, we have Call of Duty Black Ops 2, um, on PS3. I did have this on Xbox, but I decided to buy it on PS3 because that's where all the Call of Duties are. So I have to replace the Xbox 360 disc, because it was scratched and didn't work. So I just gave it into Xbox or GameStop. <clears throat> Next up, we have Call of Duty Ghosts. Um, I did. I think I don't think I bought this game because I was young back then. So I probably got this for a birthday or Christmas or something. I don't know, but um, it's a good game nonetheless. I like it very much. Um, pretty cool story as well. Once you get into it more and more. Next up, we have Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Day Zero Edition. Um, I remember my auntie buying me this um, the day after release. I got it at uh, a Walmart. She bought it for me just because she saw me looking at it. and I appreciate that. So, yeah. Uh, next up, we have Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Um... Yes, this is, is the, you know, this one doesn't come with the campaign, but I did play a shit ton of multiplayer on previous gen. Um, really fun times. This is what kind of got me into wanting to get into the pro league. Next up we have Destiny the Taken King, um, Legendary Edition. I actually never played this DLC. My second oldest sister bought this for me as a birthday gift because I wanted it but I didn't have enough space on my PS3 for it so I never got to actually play it so next up God of War 3 I really suggest this game if you've never played this game um really fun game I used to play the demo on PS3 back in the day on my dad's PS3 when I was young so many times and that's what got me into being a huge God of War fan and then I bought the second game on PS2 it was either that or the first game I just saw the cover art and the second one grabbed me so definitely recommend that franchise Grand Theft Auto 5 if you guys don't know, this game is one of the biggest selling franchises of all time. Um, really amazing story, actually. I've played this game, I think, three or four times on the PS3, and I played it on the PS5, so that says how good this story is. And online, it doesn't... Playing it when this game first released online, those were the days, man. Next off, we have Little Big Planet Game of the Year Edition. I did buy this from. Oh wow! I just realized this is the not for resale. 
What? I didn't know that. That's crazy. I have a not for resale one. I was just looking at some earlier and I don't know if I did not know this was not a ref not for resale. That's crazy and I got this from GameStop back in the day, but I'm a huge little big planet fan, so that's cool. Next up, little big planet 2 special edition. Um I just started recently playing this game a little bit. Never really got to play it back in the day or anything like that, so I wanted to add it to the collection. Good series. Same with uh, Sackboy Big Adventure. Metal Gear Solid 4, Guns of the Patriots. I'm not that huge of a Metal Gear Solid fan, but um, I know this is a good one that people like, and it is stuck on PS3 for the meantime. So, um, I thought I'd buy it and, you know, get another that's in the series. So, I wonder why it's so heavy. Next in the franchise, Metal Gear Solid V Ground Zeroes. If you guys don't know, this is my very first MGS game ever in the series. Uh, pretty short, but it's a good game. Um, if you haven't tried it, definitely recommend it. It's like less than, it's around 10 hours or so, I think. Not sure. So. Next up, Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe. I recently played this this year, so go check out my Twitter for the review. Um, I beat it within a couple of hours. So, pretty good game. I only bought it for nostalgia reasons. I always wanted to play it. I always wanted to own it. Now I do can't really do that with digital can you next up minecraft playstation 3 edition uh i did buy this at gamestop i bought like i said i bought almost every game at gamestop um back in the day good game everybody knows minecraft hopefully there's a ps5 edition so that'd be cool to see next up nba 2k18 i got this as a christmas present I think because I asked for it for some reason, just because I wanted it or something, can't remember. But um, I think this is the last NBA game on PS3, and so that's also why I kept it. Fun game back in the day, so. Next off, we have Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. Ignore, whoa, ignore the ugly sticker. I didn't realize that was even there. I have to clean that off, but, um, fun game, I never got to beat it, because it never let me progress, like, a few, few missions in, like, there'd be no new missions on the map, and so I was like, what the hell, so I never got to beat that game, but it was a fun game, Resistance Fall of Man, first ever Resistance game, and, um, I will just say, shout out to my uncle that passed away, um, rest in peace, Uncle. He actually bought me this game at a pawn shop just because I was looking around and he was like, you can get it if you want it or you can get a game if you want. And I was telling him, no, no, it's okay. No, no. And he was like, yeah, just go buy it or whatever and stuff. I actually don't even remember what we were doing at a pawn shop. I'd hate to say he tried stealing from us to make more money or if he was trying to buy something there. I don't remember, but I don't think he'd steal from us like that but I'll always remember him for that so Saints Row the third um I've played this game on PS3 like two or three times it's a pretty fun wacky game never played the PS4 version because I think it was filled with way too many bugs or something like that and yeah I don't know if I'd get the PS4 version Next up, South Park, The Stick of Truth. I recently played this on PlayStation Plus Extra or Premium or whatever. Really funny game. Um, I thought I wouldn't like it, but if you've played Fractured Butthole, you're going to definitely love this game. So, those are some great games. Next off, we have The Last of Us. Y you know, the original PS3 launch. Um, 
And some of these stickers, if you guys are asking, some of these stickers I would take off, but um, they're like on there. Like, I don't know, I'd have to use Goo Gone and stuff to get it off and all that. So yeah, probably do that in the future when I move or something. Next up, we have a sealed copy of The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. I recently got this game from Facebook Marketplace online and only paid five bucks. The seal, I notice, has like a little tear, if you can see right there. Yeah, right there. But, um, never played it, never been an Elder Scrolls fan or, or anything like that. But, um, I got it because it was sealed, I guess. Tomb Raider. I recently played this game on the PS5, the PS4 version. Um, this is the 2013 game. Really good game. Um, I played the whole series up to Shadow. Really good series, so I recommend you guys play it if you like Uncharted. Next off, ending this row, we have Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Future Soldier. I never beat this. I never beat this game. I did get pretty far in it. I can't remember how I got stuck or why, but um, it was an alright game. So that's the first row, guys. We're gonna get on with the next few that we got before we ended off next off we have twisted metal uh this is like the 2012 reboot i have the case like the case switched so that's why it looks different but like the art but it still has a logo on the side so i just flipped it, it looks badass i think so there's that Next up, we have UFC 2010 Undisputed. I bought this game back in the day because I played 2009 Undisputed, and I loved that game on my dad's PS3 back in the day, so this game's not too bad, too. Um, I think I tried doing a career mode, but I didn't really get into it back in the day. But, yeah. Next up, we have is Uncharted 2 Game of the Year Edition. Or Uncharted 2 Among Thieves Game of the Year Edition. I don't know if I said this already, but excuse the stickers. Um, if I can't peel them off, it's because they have... I have to get it with Goo Gone, so... Or whatever. I hear that's the best thing to remove stickers, so... Next up, we have Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception. Um, out of the three games, I'd say the third one is my favorite. I mean, there's four games, but out of the three out of the four, this one might be my favorite and then fourth might be my favorite on playstation 4 but if that even makes sense because i don't know if i have a first place and a second place all right y'all last but not least wwe 2k15 um i have this one because i was kind of still into wrestling i guess i wasn't really playing much games back then nothing crazy um i did have 16 because I don't think 16 was the last one they put on PS3, but I know I had it. And I don't know if I gave it into GameStop or what, so... Whoops, that sucks. Because I loved 16 even more, playing as Stone Cold Steve Austin. Alright, y'all, that was my PS3 collection. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like down below and subscribe if you haven't yet. I love every single one of you so much. Thank you guys so much for the support. Peace out, everybody.